All right, take 17, let's do this. I've done 17 takes and I haven't even unboxed anything because first I recorded it and everything was out of frame. This thing was annoying me, which I'm gonna cover with this. Um, <laughs> and then I found out that I recorded and I ran out of space on my phone. So I had to like delete stuff, a whole bunch of GIFs, GIFs that I've been sending. Like I make these K-pop GIFs and um, apparently they're taking up all the memory on my phone. So I did that, deleted some videos, and here we are. Big unboxing. I'll be unboxing every single Everglow album. I am a huge fan of theirs. I actually got... Um, so I bought these two albums from Sarong Hello, which is this. Uh, they are an online retailer of k-pop albums and they are expanding because they are getting big and they're based in the california in the california they're based in the bay area which is in california so if you're looking for quick shipping cheap reasonable and fast shipping and you're in the bay area you should probably use them i have bought a lot of stuff a lot of albums including these two through them and this one too but um I split this with a friend, we got the bundle, and I was like, you know what? You can choose whatever version you want, I'll choose the other. So I got the pink version, and I'm looking forward to unboxing this. So to my knowledge, Everglow has really cool and, um, like, I wouldn't say innovative, but they have a lot of cool, unique features to their albums, more so than, like, Luna. Luna's very straightforward, it's just the album, photo book, and usually one photo card. I know So What had, I think So What also had one for Luna, but I'll get started. This too, with the arrival of Everglow. So the first three albums that they released were actually single albums. And I say single albums, that means there aren't, there weren't uh, multiple versions. So this most recent album there was a black version and a pink version. Shout out Blackpink, who just came back. So this is the arrival of Everglow. Everybody remembers Bon Bon Chocolat. Okay, so this is already very unique. I like this. I like this. Arrival of Everglow. So I did go to KCON in LA last year before quarantine and the state shut down. All right, so the CD is EU, very nice, very nice. Um, but I did go to KCON and I was supposed to see them at KCON, but I believe they had visa issues, so they weren't able to, uh, they weren't able to go. Um, well, it's a little, Little scuff here in the corner, but that's fine. This was their debut, and I believe they did win a show during their debut. Look at EU with the Castrol GTX motor oil jacket. She's looking like a NASCAR driver slash drag racer. Um, yeah, so I missed out on seeing them, and then I was actually going to see them in March. They were going to be in L.A., I was going to travel down there. Okay, very standard. I was going to go travel down there. I already had my plane ticket ready, and we already had our Airbnb. We got a whole house. There's going to be a whole bunch of us to um, go down there to watch them, and then everything escalated. Like, Tom Hanks got COVID, and then the NBA season got canceled or postponed, so... And then I was like, okay, well, all this is happening. I'm probably not going to see Everglow. And lo and behold, the concert was canceled. So, Okay, so standard photo book for the album. Mia, looking good. Oh, photo cards. I forgot there were photo cards. So I am a year-end bias. I do like all of them. This isn't like in Luna. It's because in Luna, I thought that was something. I'm, looking, I'm watching this through the, my phone lens. Sorry, I hit the stand. In Luna, I like most of them. I don't like some of them. And I'm always, I actually was bummed to get two cards in consecutive albums of 
members I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't hate them. It's just, you know, I, they're not my biases slash favorite. Just skimming through this. All right, and then very standard. Bomba chocolate, uh, really good chocolate is a very, oh, it came with the sticker. Nice. And then Aisha. Don't smoke weed, everybody. Actually, weed is legal here in California. <laughs> so very standard, okay. Maybe we're gonna see the progression of their albums because um, I have a couple friends who have their albums and have shown me a lot about their stuff and, and a lot of the talk up what are included in Everglow albums. Let me see if I could put this back correctly. It's correct enough. All right, Arrival of Everglow, album number one. Next, with their EDM-ish track, their Pirates of the Caribbean track, <laughs> Out of Hush, which was um, Adios. And if you re-listen to the end of that song, it sounds like Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I am struggling to open this. You know what? There we go. Okay, add the glow. Hush. Album number two. Onda has pink hair. Mia has gray hair. So I wasn't the biggest fan. Okay, this is the same type of situation as Arrival of Everglow. Um, some, again, okay, well not some, the whole chunk of this corner is missing, which sucks, but to my knowledge, I'm going to place them in my shelves like this, where it says Everglow, so it won't be shown. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of this because who knows what's gonna be in the inside, but um, I mean, these things are imported across the, the whole ocean, so. All right, so this is op this opens like a notebook, like a handy dandy notebook for y'all who uh, like Blue's Clues. And let me see, it's, it, it turns from the back. Okay, so I'll look at that. Okay, so these, comes, these come with like big photo cards. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. I liked Onda with the with the blonde and the pink. I didn't really like her with the orange hair. Eu also looks good blonde. Shion looks like Susie, Susie's Bay Susie, Susie's uh, younger sister. Please at me. CD generic, eg ever glow. This looks like the place where everybody records K-pop. I believe Kim Lip did recordings here for her thing, uh, for her for Eclipse, but like further down into this pit. I think, you know, I could just go with that and pretend like I'm a know-it-all, but I'm actually not 100% sure, but. All right, photo book time and photo cards. So what we learned from the first to the second is that they're very similar except um, the book is flipped this way, handy dandy notebook, and the large photo cards that I even, I didn't even put it away correctly. Let me put this back. And every member was in there, so fun. All right, so I got a group photo card. Very nice. EU is not looking at the camera, but that's definitely me in every photo. Can relate. And also, where are you reaching, Yuran? Okay, Frisky, look at that. Maybe that's not maybe that's why she's not looking. I keep on bumping into this freaking stand <laughs> as I show things. Okay, with the with the pogey boy pose. Shout out my Filipinos out there. Mia. Very nice. Okay, let's flip through this book and then we'll get number three started. So this is the album cover. Year in. Heard a lot of rumors of when I as one finally breaks up, 
in their contracts and that uh Yena, who is in the same company, might be added to this group. And at this point, I feel like it's a little too late. I kind of like it as six. I like them all, and they're doing great on their own. I think a lot of these um, survival show, reality show groups kind of overshadow their groups. Like I know in Wiki Miki, who is coming back next week, I believe on the 8th, I feel like those groups are like heavily focused on the former IOI members. You can say the same thing about Gugu Don, that they kind of overshadow, which makes sense because they're so popular in, in IOI. Um, but yeah, I kind of don't want them to do, or I don't want Yena to go join Everglow because they got, already got their, they already got their own thing. But I did get to see Yena at, uh, like this, it goes like this. I did get to see her actually at um, KCON because Eyes 1 was there. Okay, number three, I might be able to unbox all four of these quicker than my last video. I think my last video, which was the Twice World in a Day, World in a Day merch um, of Nyon, my ult bias, who's almost a 1A to 1B to chew from Luna. It's a very close uh, race. Love them both, love them both a lot. All right, so this one came out earlier this year. This is with their comeback Dun Dun. Because with the little lenticular, uh... back in elementary school, which was a long time ago for me, uh, we used to have these planners for school and they'd always be lenticular like this with like some graphic of the earth or something. <laughs> and literally by the end of the year, all of it would be scratched because me and my other fellow not so smart, uh, classmates would do that okay so this is when okay so this looks like a stand so there is something extra in this and this is also very different from their first two albums there's no extra plastic sheet this is like a traditional book this book reminds me at size and shape reminds me of twice's uh merry and happy album also the gold on this on the on the sides of the pages really nice touch with the purple very royal looking and also no, no lenticular in the back. But this looks like... I shouldn't try to take it off. That's what it looks like. <laughs> and this is the Reminisce album, the third release. And yes, this is exactly... Oh, it came, it come, it came with the... Uh... So it did came, come out in January. I'm guessing that's Mia's birthday. January 13th. And it did come with my bias. So this will look extremely great. In my shrine. Okay, let's uh, just get the stand situation going. I'm very happy. I'm very. I'm anticipating the the give me the giveaways in here because my friend has been texting me all day about uh, random holographic cards in there. I'm guessing he's saying lenticular cards, holographics, and also there's I think another stand in there. So hopefully. He got year-end, so hopefully I get one of his or year-end so I could trade with him. But I'm happy about this. This is a great, this is a good sign. Very good sign. Um, out of all the songs, I feel like I like um, La Di Da, obviously really good. But I think, I think Dun Dun, actually it might be a tie between Dun Dun and La Di Da. They are like um, Itsy to me because their first four songs have been bangers. I've liked all four. This is just the song list. Then we got, and then we got the photo book. Okay, we'll check that out after. Let's just keep on flipping. Okay, Okay, so this one comes with a lot of goodies. Maybe they're interchangeable in the stands, but this is uh, horizontal. I think it's a... Well, this is November. Hmm. This is, looks like just a normal postcard. We are united in our differences by Everglow. Maybe I'm not into the lore as much that I don't really know what's going on as the EU is looking at me. 
Hey. Okay, this is another good sign. I got Aisha as a photo card. This is great trade material. If my friend who does have the year and stuff uh, does in fact uh, want to trade for that. I could be framing this a lot better. My deception, my uh, perception, deception, my perception, <laughs> like when I look at this, I'm, not, I'm I'm looking at it through my phone. I always feel like it's something I could take off, like it's uh, another card. But yeah, very good. This is a, a nice uh, nice package with a whole bunch of goodies, including uh, the urine stand. Okay, one more, the last one, the most recent one. I'm guessing these are coordinates. Shu Xian. I almost said Shu Hua. I was thinking about her because she was on Ice Isaac with uh, doing the dog competition, like the dog agility drills with the, her dog. And also G Idols on. I was thinking about them because G Idols in this card that Sarong Hello gave me. Okay. Oh, so that's a uh, outside packaging. Uh oh. Should I just tear halfway through this, or should I try to be careful? I I got it. Okay, let me just reestablish this on this envelope. You guys say envelope, envelope. I say envelope, but for this video, I'll say envelope because I mispronounce things all the time. My friends call me out. I say milk instead of milk, and I say eggs instead of eggs. Okay, oh, okay, well, a <laughs> whole bunch of stuff just came out. Here's the photo book. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, so obviously they're making some money because this album is crazy <laughs> compared to their others, which is a natural progression, right? They're growing and they're getting more popular. So, um, all right, let's figure this out. This is the CD. This is overwhelming. Just a whole bunch of things came out when I opened this envelope. Envelope. Very nice. CD. Um... This looks like the stand, or not. There is a photo card in here? Dude, I am so scared. Oh, it's a, it's a fold out. Oh my gosh. I got Onda. It's an Onda stand. Okay. She looks good here. I like the blonde. I like the blonde. Onda. Very nice. We'll look good in my shrine with, with her. Boom. So this is very unique, and um, I haven't opened too many different girl groups. Uh, I have a Mamamoo album. I have a whole bunch of Twice, and almost, I want to say almost all. I have a good amount of Luna albums and all the Itzy albums. Actually, I only have the photo book for Dala Dala, but um, this is a song list, I'm guessing. Yes, song list. I don't know if these are freebies. No, um, oh, did you put these together to make one poster? Almost like a puzzle. No, it's not, it's just uh, individual larger photo cards. Very nice, every single member too. Oh, so they're all double-sided. I'm like not even showing y'all. I only showed like, one side of this. Okay, Yuran looks good. Xion. Love the purple hair. Okay, Mia's is very obscure. Look at that. Just the lips. Okay, I already saw this too. Good sign again. Love her. Xion. Yes. Oh, I did get one. So it is holographic. Dude, this is great trade bait. He's gonna want this. He's gonna want this. Okay, so I got the pink. It came in pink and black. So uh, my friend wanted the, the black. So I got the pink. He's also a blink too. So 
it kind of worked out that their album is uh, synergizing with <laughs> with the black pink their photo quality looks really good it looks very natural um in luna stuff i feel like a lot of their photos are heavily edited and like filtered like they're just they're just not as clear and i i wish they were cuz I'm a big fan, you know. Um, hopefully the next time I try to see Everglow, it works out. Because I'm 0 for 2. So hopefully third, uh, third chance is the lucky chance. And that is, that's it. Thanks for watching. It's been fun. Um, yeah. Shout out to you who watched this video. And um, if you all like my videos, please subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.